Okay, in this video, I want to go over how to compute critical values, the Z sub alpha over 2, for uh, various confidence, uh, confidence intervals with various confidence levels. Excuse me. And then uh, we're going to be using GeoGebra in this video to compute these critical values. So if I want to compute the critical value for a 90% confidence interval, first thing I want to write down is that alpha is 1 minus 0 0.90, the confidence level, which is 0 0.10. So then if we look at alpha over 2, we just divide this value by 2, 0 0.10 divided by 2, which is 0 0.10. 0, 0.05. And uh, I want to note right here, this is this is the value on each tail when we look at the normal distribution. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra right now, and I want to make 5% go in one of the tails. So that's my normal calculator. And notice it's a Z score. So we talked about in chapter six, if it's a Z, we keep it as a zero and a one. I'm gonna click on the right sided tail and inside the probability, I'm gonna type a 0 0.05, click on enter. And this right here is my Z critical value. So I'll write it right here, Z sub alpha over two is equal to 1.6449. All right, let's go over another couple examples. If we want to do a 94% confidence interval, then we want to look at, first of all, alpha is 1 minus 0 0.94, which is 0 0.06. And then looking at alpha over 2, we just divide 0 0.06 divided by 2. 6% divided by 2 is 3%. Again, this is what we plug in the uh, tail of the confidence of the normal curve, excuse me. So I'll go back to my normal distribution. Instead of a 0.05, I need to change this to a 0 0.03. Click on enter. And keep in mind you always plug in the uh, alpha over 2 value inside the box, the equals box. And then inside the probability, 1.8808 is the critical value. So Z sub alpha over 2 is 1.8808 for a 94% confidence interval. Let's do one more. I want to get a 98% confidence interval. Notice the Z score is getting larger, so this should be even larger than 1.8808. So let's first write down what is alpha. This is 1 minus 0 0.98, which is 0 0.02. So then alpha over 2 is half of that, 0 0.02 divided by 2, which is 0 0.01. And again, this alpha over 2, this is what goes in the tail, 0 0.01. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra. Change the 0 0.03 to 0 0.01. Click on enter, and I get 2.3263 to be my critical value. All right, so you've got the procedure right here. Alpha is 1 minus the confidence level. Then you divide that by 2. That is what you plug in uh, each tail. And notice uh, you could do either tail. I'm doing the right tail each time. So that way you get the positive z score 1.6449 for 90%, 1.8808 for 94%, 2.3263 for 98%. 